Well, we've got a heck of a lot of weather going on across the eastern half of the United States, and that is going to play a part in our weather here on our side of the Atlantic over the next uh, several days. Thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. Looking at the GFS, the initial of the uh, model for the 850 temperatures and jet stream, a uh, nice combination kind of really depicts very nicely the uh, overall set that we've got uh, across the Atlantic at the moment. So we've got a very vigorous area of low pressure producing blizzard conditions uh, for the I-95 corridor uh, from DC up until Boston. Uh, we're going to be talking about upwards of two feet of snow in some parts, but uh, what that system is going to do is it's going to amplify the jet pattern across the Atlantic and in turn it's going to also um, produce uh, somewhat more active weather here across the UK as we go towards the upcoming weekend. So a major dump of cold air, bitterly cold Arctic air for the time of the year, driving south into the, all the way into the uh, southern half of the United States, and that is going to cause major issues with regards to uh, uh, plants and uh, vegetables that have been grown somewhat earlier this year because of the warm weather that we've seen during the month of February. But uh, you can see here as we skip through the sequence, folks, uh, the uh, the jet is basically crossing just to the north of Scotland, just on the uh, northwestern corner. And what that's doing is it's producing severe gale force winds across the northern mainland of Scotland, the Western Isles and the Northern Isles through the course of today. So winds are whipping even here in central Scotland, but they uh, stronger further north. Further south, winds are a little bit uh, lighter, we're seeing more in the way of brightness, we're also seeing temperatures fairly mild. Now, as we go through into the middle part of this week, the jet takes a bit of a dip south, so it trims back the warmth, especially across uh, central portions of the UK. And the reason why is that we've got this push of bitterly cold air out into the Atlantic. And what that's doing is you can see the formation of low pressure here to the south of Greenland. You can see that curl, you can see the mild air get wrapped around the front edge of that low while cold air gets uh, forced in, sucked in on the back side. Now as we skip Tuesday into Wednesday, watch how the mild air resurges back into the UK once again. So we'll lift the jet back north. We could have a particularly mild day, I think, on Thursday afternoon as uh, southwesterly winds kick in, even along the Murray coast. Wouldn't be surprised if we see 16 or 17 degrees if we get enough in the way of sunshine along areas such as Lossiemouth and Kinloss on the Murray coast. We could be talking about the warmest day for Scotland of the year so far. But all the while, while this warmth gets wafted north, we could see 18, possibly 19 in the southeast of England. We have got a major system coming in for the latter part of this week and that will produce a sharp cool down. We're going to have a fairly active frontal system producing gale force winds quite widely, heavy rain, possible mountain snow once again, and then we get the end of the colder on the back side during the day on Thursday. So colder uh, getting um, pushed across, wiping out that milder. And look at what we've got behind again. We've got another surge of milder, all because of the active pattern that we've got over the western Atlantic here. Storms brewing, storms deepening, and the incubation region has been very close to Newfoundland over the past few weeks. And what that's doing is it's, it's causing a ripple effect across the Atlantic here with regards to the atmosphere. So the cold air is driven south. We've got the uh, uh, northwesterly airflow during the day on Friday, so feeling much, much colder than what Thursday will be. Then we get another push of mild air coming in. That doesn't quite reach the northern portion of Scotland like we've seen uh, with the Thursday push. Then during the day on Saturday, we've got another uh, system just fringing the northern uh, portion of the UK. Mild air to the south, cold air to the north. We've got a bit of a north-south divide, as you can see here. And then as we skip uh, through the early part of next week, we could have a more prolific push of cold air coming down here, but a very active pattern, very amplified pattern for the UK, for the Atlantic overall. We are maintaining this up and down cycle uh, at the moment. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Do check out the written post later on. Bye for now.